Back with another live show tonight. Arnold Styles Podcast tapping in. As you can see right now, we're like with no power. Just an update from the the hurricane from yesterday. Right now in Wachula, there's like no power. I think there's one light. One light has some power or like a, the main light. So like you can cross Main Street, they have a stoplight that's up. But everything else, unless you have a generator or something like that, there is no power, there's nothing going on. Like everybody was just doing a lot of cleanup. The, I, if you've been following my stories, I posted like a, on one of the, the stories indication of just pretty much the whole day of people like just cleaning the debris, the aftermath of everything that was going on. Because I know yesterday we tapped in on just, it was so crazy. I, when we did the live, a moment later, like five minutes later, all the lights shut off, all the internet went out. So it was just enough time to get the live off before, before everything got shut down. And ever since that was eight o'clock, 8 p.m. yesterday, all the lights, all the electricity, everything is on. We still, my service is still working. You know, everybody's like, my service not working, my service on. Listen, I use Straight Talk from Walmart and that joint has been jumping throughout the entire process. You know, I've had service all night, all through the storm, everything. So don't don't knock the little stores uh, services. Everybody be like T-Mobile, Verizon, all that. Hey man, it's straight talk from Walmart. Y'all need to have me as a brand ambassador. <laughs> but this episode of Arnold's Thoughts Podcast is sponsored by Bold Claims Apparel. Bold Claims. It's not just a statement, it's a lifestyle. Click the link in the bio and shop their latest apparel today. Back to the episode. The storm was crazy. Like it was crazy, but it was just a lot of water and a lot of wind. And you know, just my my mental my mental thoughts of what was going on at the moment. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like I was dealing with it was so crazy, like right before the storm, like I didn't really even really know how bad it was gonna be until like the day before. And just like how deep it was going to get with like a category five, they said it was going to be, it's going to be one of the worst storms that ever passed through here. And the damages and stuff, there was a lot of damages. Like right now we're without power, without water. There's a lot of damages, but further towards the Orlando area, I guess they have more lights and stuff. So I might have to take a trip out there and meet up with some friends just to get some, I need to shower. But as I went through the storm, I can only think about the storm that's go that's going on in my life. You know, like bigger than the storm that was going on outside. I'm just thinking about the storm that's going on in my life. Like it seems sometimes that like when things go when one thing is going wrong or one thing is happening, something else jumps on top of it. It's like it's a kick me while I'm down moment. And I felt like I was just going through a kick me while I'm down moment, like to the point that sometimes, you know, you get numb to all the things that can happen wrong to you. Like all the things that keep coming, it's just like, oh my God, like something else, something else to just knock me off of my edge to make me just want to give up and throw in the towel of all the things. What more can I take? How much more can I deal with? Like, how much am I gonna like, how much more am I gonna go through? You know, how much more am I gonna go through? What more can possibly happen to me that can try to break me down even more? Like how much more can I take? You know, we all have those moments. I had that, I have those moments. I had that moment yesterday and I was just you know, I'm looking around at all the damages and all the stuff that's going on from the hurricane, but it's just like, this is nothing compared to what's going on internally, mentally. That's why it's so important to just grow your mind mentally, like get mentally strong for the life situations. When your life is have a hurricane, 
spiritually with your with your people around you with your career job relationship when that hurricane is going on and then you have an actual physical hurricane going on like that's just life and how to just get through that those moments like give me one or the other give me the mental part or give me the physical part. like just give me one to deal with sometimes it's both at the same time sometimes the people that's supposed to be with you the people that's supposed to be in your corner that say they got your back they say they rock with you they say they'll never leave you they turn on you that new promotion that new job that next level that you're supposed to reach in your your job doesn't come You're out here scrambling around looking for something, looking for something to just make up for the negativity, to ne make up for the next step. Get lost sometimes. Get lost in wondering what's next. What do, what can I do to get out of this situation? What can I do to find the, my, where's my next step? That, that's the way we get some, that's how I got, like, what is my next step? I do everything right that I was supposed to do and go this direction, nothing happens. I go this way, nothing happens. I go this way, <laughs> and nothing happens. And it's like, why? Why is nothing happening? For me, I'm doing everything I can to make a change, to do better, to do right, to stay focused. But nothing goes my way. That's life. And as much as it gets hard and it hurts, there's a certain level of joy that we must have for those moments. It's the same as I wrote in my book. Can you outlast the pain? Pain of life is going to come no matter what. And it's always going to be as worse than we believe it can be. But it don't always last long. Or it won't last forever. I'm not going to say for how long, but it won't last forever. Can we outlast the pain? I have to ask myself that the only reason I come and I say that is not because like I'm saying it to you. I'm saying it to myself. Can you outlast the pain? The pain is going of life is going to come regardless. Ups, downs, high points, low points. Can you outlast that pain just to keep going? It gets hard. Very hard. You know? Sometimes it just it's some of those moments in life that just wants to break you down so bad. And you just be like, when is it my turn? <laughs> when is it my turn? But it's just the timing thing. Enjoying your moment. It's like it's all about the moments, like even with the hurricane. Like I put the video out about the hurricane. You have to enjoy what's going on right now. This was the biggest, one of the biggest hurricanes and it was supposed to cause all this damage. This is a world, this is a, this is not an everyday type of thing. Find some joy in this that I got to like, I'm not going to lie, I had to go to the car. I ran out into the hurricane to go to my car. How many people could say that they went out into a hurricane, a category three or four hurricane, just to go grab something out of the car? That's me. I did that. I get to live with that. I get to enjoy that. The catastrophic, all the damage or whatever, I get to say I ran out into a storm. I'm not advising that. Let me be very clear, do not go running out into storms to live your life. Public's like, do not do that. I'm not saying go do that. I'm just saying what I did. I'm just saying how I lived my life and the experience that I chose to cho to have in this crazy moment, in this disastrous moment. I just try to change my perception of the good in it. Change your perception of the good 
that you can get out of these situations in life. I have to constantly tell myself that and constantly think that because I, I, I get these very struggle moments and my closest friends and my family members that know the most, they know that because they've been through it with me. That's why I'm so close with my family because they go through my moments with me and they always stick close to me and they give me that push to keep going. That's why I'm here with them. You know, I could have went to a friend's house. I could have went somewhere else, more safe or whatever. My friends hit me up like, yo, you could have came to my house in Atlanta or something. No, I want to be right here with my family. If I couldn't have been anywhere else, I want to be here with my family. My daughter would have been with me, but she was in a safer place. So I'd rather her be in a safer place, but I'm here. You know, I got family members that can't really take care of themselves too much. Even so, I gotta look. I have to be here. If I could be here to help them as they've helped me in my life, why wouldn't I be? You know, why wouldn't I go through it with them together? We're forever creating a stronger and stronger bond through the times that we go through together. You know, and that's what I took from this whole storm and all the situation. And I got to spend the time and create a deeper bond with the people that I love. And the people that I want to see great things happen for them in their life. And the people that I know that has genuine love for me. It's always great to be around genuine love, no matter who it's from. If someone genuinely loves you and they just always show that and they just, to be around that. If you have, you know, family deal with a lot of issues, but if you're around that genuine love for family members and you go through something together, it just brings you closer. You know, and I just want to be appreciative of that. And I'm grateful for that, just for my family, you know. I'm grateful for everybody that reached out and was like, hey, bro, you good. I reached out to some of my friends, but just like when something goes on and everybody just starts communicating and picking each other up and, hey, man, just checking on you. Hey, man, like, why don't we do that more often? Why does it have to take something so disastrous to say, hey, man, how are you doing? Let me check in on you. Let me say what's up to you. Let me talk to you. Good. What's going on? What's how's the life? But when something disastrous is going on and buildings are catching on fire and the whole state is going through a massive destruction, that's, hey, you all right? You good? Why do we wait for these times? I don't want to wait for that time. I don't want to wait for a time, like something crazy or something disastrous to happen for me to say, hey, man, you know, I love you. You might be like, I miss you. I, I hope you're doing all right. You know what I mean? Like, why are we wasting? Why would we waste that time? Because we've, we, I, I always say this, we get to a point where we believe time, we control time. Like, we have enough time. We have, we don't, un, we don't control none of that. Time is going to happen on its own. It's going to continue to move. It exists on its own. It's its own dimension. We don't control that. So we better as well use the time that we got to be appreciative and grateful for it. Like I said, my friend that I, my friend's cousin who I just met, great dude, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, he's gone, 39 years old, 39 years old, met him one time. And next thing you know, he's gone. Hurricane, Hurricane Ford just come through Florida yesterday, Ian, set a whole building on fire. Hope we're still without power. Moments in life, we must be grateful for and take advantage of because it's not I myself don't always take advantage of the moments that we have given to us I'm so sometimes I find myself so ready to take on the world and give everybody else their push hey come and I, I have to recently speak with my sister she let me know sometimes that I have to take that time for myself and find myself and find my, like, hey, is this what you want to do? Are you resting enough? Are you creating enough fun with me, fun in you to just enjoy the moment? I don't know who I was listening to. Somebody was like, they made it. Oh, Michael Strahan. He was talking on the pivot. And he was saying that he was just so caught up in the process. And if he could have go back, he would enjoy it more. And I have that in me that I just get, I, I want to grind, I want to get it. I've got to, I, so there's a point that I got to be, there's a level I got to get to. I got to overwork, I got to grind, I got to get to this greatness, this ledger day, and sacrifice, all this. I mean, I got, but, understanding the process, it's just a timing thing. 
enjoying the work. Enjoying the work is the most important part of it all. Enjoying the down times, enjoying the struggle, enjoying the work, enjoying the hurricanes, enjoying the live, enjoying the smile, just enjoying every part of the process, the hurt, the struggle, the ups, the down, because there's, there's always going to be greater moments coming. Like I say all the time, just can you outlast the pain? It hurts. It does. So bad. But can you outlast the pain? Everything you do is the ups and downs. Just can you outlast the pain? It ain't going to last forever. I promise you that. I know that. I know that. I'm not saying it's going to be easy going through it. But. We'll get through it. I feel that. I know that. There's nothing in me that tells me. That. Whatever it is. Whatever pain. Whatever it is going, you're going through. As I go through. We will get through it together. You know. Hurricane Ian was Hurricane Ian. Our, our personal hurricanes that we deal with. When the aftermath is gone. You know, you see more sun now. All the trees that's gotten put, like, knocked over and all the debris. One thing I realized today, there's more sun. Things look a lot more clear, a lot clearer now. That's all I got for you guys, man. I hope you guys were safe. I hope everybody, family, everything that you guys... Um, went through those out there tuning in from other countries y'all and y'all got to see a little bit what we went through you know I put in my stories just like almost everything that went down just to try to keep y'all involved and let y'all know what was going on through our moment of time and everybody that supported us and helped us and was with us throughout this motion throughout this moment man I thank you for your for reaching out I just thank everybody that reached out that you know that we was going through this rough time and this this devastation. Everybody that just reached out and said, "Hey, you good? Hey, are you straight? Do you need anything?" I just really appreciate that. I really appreciate every single person that tapped in and just said, "Are you okay?" <laughs> because sometimes just saying, "Are you okay?" can take you such a long way and such a rough time. And I really, really appreciate everyone that 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 tapped in, man. So. Until next time, man, you know we here every night, every day, and we go through the storm together, man. Y'all tap in with me, man. We ain't got no lights. Till the lights come back on. <laughs> Till next time.